Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust to talk about that Rust console edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, Next Generations, and everything in between. And today we're talking about the PTB, or Testing or Staging Branch update, that did just occur, and the list is quite long. And also pointing to the fact that it's, it's really just pushing Cargo Ship that much closer, uh, dare I say soon, to Main Branch. And in turn also... You know, if things get pushed over to main branch, then that just means uh, the next big piece for PTB is going to be electricity. Uh, can't wait for that. Uh, according to the roadmap, that's um, that's how things are supposed to be going here. So, yeah, uh, here's the deal. A cargo ship or ocean bound um, is already out on PTB. It's been pretty stable for us, but I know some people have been having some frame issues. We did go over the actual big test as well. I, I'm sure some of you guys showed up for that live stream. That was like the last live stream I could do before my internet took a dive. But um, yeah, that, that actually ran quite well for us. Um, but yeah, just in case you didn't know, PTB, staging, testing, it's all the same thing. Once things are polished, we get updates there. They get pushed on to Rust main branch, or also known as normal Rust. Uh, here's why this is so significant. It's fixed a lot of things uh, that we've been looking to have fixed. And it looks like we've got a lot of stability. And if it is a good stable candidate, uh, or I should say if it is a stable update, it is a candidate for the actual main push on one of these Thursdays. Maybe next Thursday, maybe the one after that. We're not sure. Although usually the last Thursday of the month is usually a pretty good uh, candidate for this thing to go through, especially if this bad boy is stable. We've already had some early reports that uh, people on core systems have had really good frames considering. And uh, that's very promising across the board for everyone, no matter what platform you're on. So, uh, yeah, all, all really good stuff. And, uh, yeah, just mad excited for electricity. So when this thing actually gets pushed through, it gives more people points of interest across the uh, the board itself. But, you know, more importantly, electricity. Okay, so we're going to read through a lot of this major list here. It is freaking huge. Are right, you guys ready for this? All right, so we've got right away, this is going to be patch 1.19. Uh, and again, this is on PTB first, and again, these might look uh, rather familiar. Uh, when these things do get pushed through to main branch, these will be the exact changes. Okay, so first and foremost says the torch, flashlight, miner's hat, candle, hat, and weapon flashlight now provide more light. Supply signals give out much more smoke after being thrown. Increase the amount of vision you have while wearing the heavy plate helmet. Uh, give models, I'm sorry, glove models will no longer be seen floating on player shadows. Uh, player hair is no longer clipping through the coffee can helmet. The stone uh, pickaxe can no longer <laughs> gather wood. Actually, didn't really pick up on them. that. That was a thing, but I'm glad they fixed it. Uh, building plan previews now see through again. Thank you. Building plan previews no longer turn invisible when they hit water. Also fantastic. If you're building the bilge, just saying. Uh, building plan previews no longer get darker at nighttime. Also very good. Uh, fix being able to place non-attire items into a locker. I wonder if that means we can't put a stack of bullets and stuff in there. I kind of hope that we can. Uh, fix being unable to place items in the front door. In the front of a drop box, excuse me. I cannot read. Uh, fix being able to access both sides of the drop box. Uh, drop boxes have had a little bit of trouble recently. Let me go ahead and get that out there. Uh, from the storage side, uh, fixed a bug that would cause doors locks to disappear and doors would stay locked. Haven't seen that. That's a little scary. I'm glad they got that fixed. Fixed sheet metal building blocks appearing completely white from a distance. We did see that, and that's much appreciated that they fixed it. Fixed part of the armored sheet metal triangle roof disappearing from a distance. Uh, fixed texture issues on the metal shop front after placing it on upgraded foundations. Uh, fixed vanishing shadows on chain link fences. Items no longer disappear after being thrown at chain link fences. Thank you. Uh, fix being unable to retrieve objects thrown or shot at the reactive target. Equipped a beanie hat no longer makes, uh, I'm sorry, equipping a beanie hat no longer makes you go bald. Kind of sad about that one. Uh, fixed stat previews when hovering over the miner's hat and candle hat. Fixed shadows fading out too early on chairs, uh, wood boxes, workbenches, and research tables. Items can no longer be placed in the middle of a doorway. Uh, oh, uh, I th would that affect our loot rooms, maybe? I'll have to wait and see. Uh, fixed, uh, being unable to pick up a searchlight. Uh, now we're into the weapons category. Let me go ahead and pivot here. Beep, boop. Boop. Uh, fixed, unable to, uh, reload some weapons after playing an emote twice during the relo reload animation. Fixed, time charges hovering over wood and sulfur collectibles that were thrown at them. Uh, fixed missing animation for equipping the M39 rifle. Fixed missing reload sound for the Spaz-12 shotgun. Grenades thrown at sewer entrances now fall into the tunnels instead of floating above them. 
Uh, grenades thrown at broken windows at the launch site now go through them. Fantastic. Fixed level of detail issues on buildings when viewing them through a weapon scope. Great. Fixed sometimes being unable to retrieve thrown weapons from animals. Uh, fixed rockets sometimes flying into the wrong direction after being fired from a bow. Yikes. I can't believe we didn't see that one either. Uh, the paddle lo no longer emits a swirling sound when thrown. Uh, thankful for that. Uh, here we go. Nighttime is darker. Underground tunnels are also darker. Players can no longer spawn in snow or desert biomes. Uh, is that that must be like fresh spawns? Like if you're, you know, you get popped. Uh, fix a bug that sometimes stops players uh, being able to push boats on the ground. Uh, oh yeah, we did run into that. Uh, players now hold the steering wheel when driving a rowboat. Hold the steering wheel when driving a rowboat. That's interesting. Uh, do they mean modular vehicles, maybe? That verbiage is a little weird. Uh, fixed rowboat propeller appearing white from a distance. Uh, pushing the kayak when another player is sat in it no longer causes them to move indefinitely. Ooh, I can't believe we did that one. Fixed a bug that could cause players' backpacks to leap out of the ocean <laughs> like dolphins. Fixed the Chinook being unable to shoot at players. Oh, well, I'll be sad that that's back in, right? The Chinook is always just putting the harassment down on us. Uh, fires from destroyed helicopters and Bradley APCs now provide light at night. Thank you. Fixed a squeaky sound coming from the attack helicopter. Didn't catch that one. Fixed ghost, ghosting shadows effect on foliage. I wonder if that affects... I, we're seeing that a lot on next gens. I kind of like flutters. Increased size of world models for scrap, flare, M249, and tech trash. I know the the scrap stuff was rather small for a moment. I told you there was a lot of these things. Uh, let's go ahead and step over here for a second. Beep boop. Uh, may many visual textures and rubber banding fixes on the cargo ship. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I missed this one. Fix some instances of being able uh, to loot crates more than once. Okay, so that's fixed. All right, on to the monuments. So we got some cargo ship fixes, which could very well be from the actual event that we did uh, earlier on this month. I think it was earlier on this month. Uh, many visual textures and rubber banding fixes for the cargo ship. Performance improvements on the cargo ship. Fix several bugs so that ladders are now easier to use on the cargo ship. Improved cargo ship pathing around the island. Uh, the crane ladders at the small oil rig can now be climbed. Dope. That's awesome for the heavies when they come in. Fix a spot where players could get stuck at the oil rig. Thank you for fixing that. Change the opening direction of the crane door at the train yard so it can't be used to push players off the crane anymore. Oh, okay. I Okay, I, I can visualize where that's at now. I know. Uh, fix being unable to open the refinery door at the dome. That's kind of a good one. Uh, fix texture issues at airfield, dome, lighthouse, train yard, harbor, satellite dish, and oil rig. Fix visual issues on swamp water at the bandit camp. Uh, hopefully that helps with frames as well. Uh, fix some issues clipping through each other. Items, excuse me, clipping through each other at the sewer branch. Fix popping shadows at the sewer branch. Updating outpost layout. Hello, I wonder what that means. Interesting. I wonder if that's an usher in for the electricity. Just saying. That's the thing. Uh, fixed rubber banding at the top of the launch site main building. Thank you. Uh, fixed being unable to interact at, with the vendor at the large fishing village unless you stand in front of them. Uh, we got some UI fixes here. I told you there was a lot. Woo! I'm going to need a swig of the old tactical cylinder here. Fixed a bug that would cause the sleeping bag counter on the map to flash repeatedly. Uh, change the error message displayed when placing the rug on in an individual spot on walls, floors, or ceilings. Improve the appearance of melee weapon stats in the inventory. Improvements to labels and grid lines on the map screen to make it clear. Fix the map not showing on the death screen. Uh, server chat messages now reach the whole map. Boo! Uh, improved world spacing. Word spacing, excuse me, on several pop-up messages. Uh, fix missing... What is going on else? Oh my goodness. Improve the wor word spacing on pop-up messages. Fixed missing text. I mean, there's seriously animals just fighting outside here. Fix the missing text on the fishing controls game tip. Uh, fi fixed missing icons on items being cooked in campfires or barbecues. Fix the description on medical syringes being unreadable. Uh, added FPS limit to terrain quality and the options menu to help improve performance. Uh, that is freaking awesome. Are you kidding me? That's great. Uh, reduce the FPS drop caused by blood splatter effects. Great. Uh, fixed a crash that could occur when joining a server. 
Uh, fixed a crash that would occur when filling the last slot of the locker. Fixed a hang that could occur after destroying the Chinook. Fixed an exploit that allowed players to pick up items from another player's base. If they built close enough, they could reach over with a hammer uh, from their own build zone. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad those are all fixed. So, uh, fantastic. And especially if these... All these changes are not only stable for the cargo ship, but like like improvements for the frames overall. I think we're going to have a really good experience, and I think we're going to see this bad boy soon. And uh, just mad excited for electricity. Cannot wait. Turret spam will be a thing of the past, or at least if you do, your footprint's going to be absolutely massive. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy the gameplay loops that go around collecting and using power as a resource. It is fantastic. So uh, with cargo ship coming through soon enough, uh, the water's going to be even more important than you're using it now. And uh, the jib water base at the boat base is going to help you uh, on your wipe currently or even when the cargo ship does come through. So if you want to check it out, we'll throw it up on the end screen now. Deedle -deedle. 